Hey everyone, welcome back to the Trailline channel. This is Richard here with Ross Haber. And as always, we'll be running through a chart of the week. And today we'll be talking about DOCS Doximity, a recent IPO that's been pushing off the bottom on volume here and showing pretty good relative strength versus the rest of the market. And this is one of the names on Ross Haber's top 10 report, which if you want more information about, can be linked down below in the description. Um, and it's also popping up right now. And with that, Ross, I'd love to just kind of throw it over to you and talk about the overall chart. What do you like about the stock right here? Uh, what are you noticing in the technicals uh, that kind of puts it on your radar during this time? You got it. Thanks, Richard. So <clears throat> for starters, we've got that big gap up in volume, pushing it through. Um, it's 200 day moving average here, clearly breaking up through it's, you know, the downtrend that was in place. <clears throat> so one, there's a few things that, that I notice right off the bat, which is, I mean, relative strength you can see here is leading. So that's what ultimately gets it on my screen in addition to the, to the price. So while the market's been super weak, Doximity has held up like an absolute champ Right. Um, at a shorter term moving average as well. A lot of the other names have been getting super wide and loose. Doximity has actually tightened up right during that time. So, I mean, this one just on a technical basis in terms of relative strength, it's price volume action. Um, and it's fundamentals in and of itself are, you know, let, I'm going to let you go through that, Richard, but it was hard to, it, normally this is, not something that, again, that would be on the top 10 list for many reasons, starting with it's uh, it's an, it's an off the bottom trade, but for every other reason, it's, it's getting, uh, it's making its way up there. And the reason we're talking about it, quite frankly, is this is probably one of the better looking charts on the whole market right now. And I'll point out one more thing, and then I'm going to really throw it over to you, Richard. Um, mm -hmm. Computer software medical, 191 out of 197 might be a little deceiving. So, and I'm not going to, we won't do it, but I would suggest always going through the group, seeing what kind of conference, look at the top five or seven um, stocks in the group with the next highest relative strength and see what you've got shaping up there. Maybe it's a group that's going to start coming off the bottom, right? And right. worth looking at. Um, and here we've got, this is a very clear, easy pivot through that area. You can use stops at a 10 day moving average. And so it's just one of those things where, and again, I love the high quality sponsorship here, which is a big part of what keeps it liquid and organized and uh, a little easier to manage risk. Right. So Absolutely. from there, I'm going to let yeah. you take it away, Richard. Sure. So just to add a few things, obviously the, the, the fundamentals outside of that group strength uh, is pretty much what we look for in terms of the can slim metrics. We've got triple digit, triple digit earnings growth, the most recent quarter. Uh, going back the past four quarters, you see tremendous growth, both in terms of earnings, sales, margins. Uh, the annual estimates for 2022 were fantastic. Um, the, the annual growth rate in terms of EPS, 152%. This year, we're supposed to get it knocked down a little bit, but estimate revisions are up. So once again, um, not the greatest, but it is improving. And I think uh, when we both brought this screen up on our charts, uh, the first thing that stood out was the fund ownership, the quality fund ownership, how many of those IBD mutual fund um, top performing funds are, are invested in the stock and have a position. And overall, you've got 259 funds invested, uh, quite a bunch for um, a recent IPO and kind of in that sweet spot too of what we look for in terms of stocks that are just moving out, developing their first primary base and can see that explosive run that we saw in CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike Peloton, Fiverr, a lot of those names that um, had tremendous power from a similar type of setup. Uh, this is a little bit far from those highs. You can see the, the all-time high is 107.79. We're all the way down in 60. Um, but we're seeing that volume off the bottom telling us that some institutions are uh, accumulating positions. So that's pretty much all I would add. And I, I think you were dead right. The, the tightness in the chart recently when everything we're seeing is up and down, up and down, really wide ranges. I think that really stands out. And I think even if you're um, a, a day trader, swing trader, position trader, this is one to have on your radar during this time. And if you are a swing trader, most likely you could have even entered last week on an upside reversal as it kind of retook this range on um, this day right here Thursday and fall through the next day. Um, but if uh, if you don't have a position yet, I think it's definitely worth to have on your focus list because there will be many opportunities if it does turn out to be a big leader. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The, the biggest weakness is, as Ross said, 
Uh, we're only ranked 191 out of 197 um, in the overall group. And we always like to see the sector group behind us. That way we can kind of, you know, be riding the overall current um, and have the wind at our backs. But uh, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, anything I would add. Ross, any kind of last thoughts on the chart? What you look for to develop at this point? You know, other than what we've got pointed out in the top 10 report, just looking for, a, and this is going to be more of a, a day trader, swing trader type of thing. If you saw the big volume taking it through this little area of re exactly resistance, mm -hmm. you've got it's you got a very easy close pivot. With, and, you know, let's start by looking at its 10 day moving average as a nice, tight, logical spot if you wanted for a sell stop, if you wanted to uh, take a swing at something like this. Um, other than yeah. that, though, no, I, that that really is it. Just the, it's that overall um, tightness and strength. That's really what, you know, relative to everything else and these ridiculous uh, fundamentals that, yeah. uh, that accompany it, make it worth paying attention to the stock and the group um, as, you know, a few other names are shaping up. So pay attention. Absolutely. And, and one more pivot or, or significant level that I would watch would be uh, the close on that earnings day. That's always a significant level. And also you've got the kind of um, psychological 60 level that, that often marks a good pivot. So uh, with that, uh, hopefully you've got this on your radar. Let, let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of this stock, this setup, the fundamentals, technicals? Uh, let us know your feedback. And uh, with that, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks. Thank you.